This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Use what you've learned to create to recreate the design below. Each element needs a meaningful ID. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. All right. So it looks like they probably have a theme here. Let's see if I can match that background color by any of the preset themes. Polar, maybe? Let's just take a look. Yeah, that looks right. I might change my mind, but I think that's right. And I'm going to start at the top with the title. So I grab a label and I'm just going to drop and oh yeah, that's definitely looking good. And I'm going to put the ID first title, uh, text, we'll call this okay. and then practice log. Okay. Let me find over here. Oh yeah. It's right there. Practice log and let's make this bigger. Notice the text doesn't size with it. And so we're going to have to control that in here. Oh, I don't know. 150. Well, way too big. Why, why would you even think that? 50, 40, 32. Okay. Let's see what this is like. I'll drag it up and let's get it to fill. All right. But it looks like theirs is centered. So align text center over here. I'm changing all these elements properties. And I still think theirs is a bit bigger. So what if we were to do maybe 36, but it's also a different font. Hmm, they're tricky. Notice the curling and all of that. Not that one. Oh, definitely not sans. But ah, it gots to be that, gots to. All right, that's looking good to me. And then they added a picture of a piano and a square. Okay, I wanna do the square next. We're not really sure what this is, if it is an image or a canvas. I'm gonna assume it's a text area, so I'm gonna drop that. Oh yeah, and that looks pretty good. That's gonna look like theirs. And something like that. And I'll call this text area log because it's the log text area and do they have any default text here nope oh it looks like mine has an outline and theirs does not so we can get rid of that by going down here border width zero goodbye and there's a few ways to get rid of a border now we need a button that's a drop down oh I'm, this will be our record mix myself up Record. I'm going to move that up a hair. So record button, and then the text will be add record. So once they add the record, we need them to, that looks good. Oh, there has, has a yellow outline, a big background, whatever like five for an outline and then outline color would be definitely yellow. We can actually, I think, just type in yellow. There we are. Yeah, I like that, five. All right, now we do the drop down for time. And let's make sure to label, right? ID it, uh, drop down time. And we can add options here. So we'll start with eight AM. And then I'll do a few of these. We'll say we're only going to practice between a few hours of the day because I don't want to do all those. There, those are the only practice times. <laughs> um, how's this look? We need to change the width of it. And the height, won't we? Oh. Something more like that. And then this is another text entry, so text input drop. And instrument input, I'll call it. And they have a default instrument here for their text, which would be up here. Placeholder is where we would want to put that. Instrument. Awesome. And all we need left now is this picture that they've added. 
I'm gonna magic my way over. I've already searched for piano keys. Yep, right here. So, and then let's do images and see what we get. Um, piano keys, uh, this one looks all right. It's probably not gonna be exact, but that's okay. All right, so here it is. I'm gonna right click at my image and do save image as and hit, yep, that's great. Now I'm gonna go back over to code.org and do image, drop. I need to find here, shoes. Piano keys and click and choose. Oh, that's looking good. Let me stretch this out. Okay, and then it looks like theirs is up here more. And then uh, I'm gonna make it a bit wider. And then let's make it start its X position at negative five. So it goes off the screen a bit. There we are. And then it, we want it below everything else. So I'm gonna go way down here and depth. Rah, there we are. Hey, pull it. Awesome, that is looking great. And now all I need is these icons. So we know to find the, oh wait, I need to name this. Piano pick, great. And now one icon and two icon. Let me say music icon. My other icon, headphones icon. Let's choose this, choose an icon. And I'm gonna just search headphones, great. And then it looks like they're doing yellow. So that should go yellow. Uh -huh. And then I knew this a whole bunch smaller. What's that? Um, sure, I'll do 50-50. Something like that. And now I need to choose a musical note. And yellow. And then I will do the same width, I guess and put it up here. Hey, that's looking pretty good. Awesome, just make sure you named your images, right? I think I'll need to push this up just a bit more. Negative 30 for Y. It lets you do negative here. It's a bit deceptive because it doesn't like it, but it will let you do negative if you type it in and then add the negative after, so. But, uh, Onward. Oh, wait, we should name our screen. Uh, log screen. Phew. Onward. <laughs>